Hello students, hello teachers, and welcome to another science online class. Our topic for today is visible light. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm, flexible alternative remote modality of learning. The visible spectrum consists of electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye. This includes wavelengths from about 380 to 700 nanometers. So as you can see in the electromagnetic spectrum chart, the visible light is located in this area. Light is a type of energy made of electromagnetic waves, a blend of magnetism and electricity. Visible light is only one kind of light or electromagnetic radiation. Certain animals like bees can see other forms of light such as ultraviolet light. Radio waves are another type of light as is infrared light. Humans can only see a small section of electromagnetic radiation and this band is called the visible light spectrum. Visible light is made both of waves and particles. This idea is called wave-particle duality and is one of the basic tenets of the revolutionary physics discoveries in quantum physics, quantum theory, rather. If the visible light spectrum passes through a prism, the resulting rainbow reveals all the colors in the spectrum. This range from red with a wavelength of 700 nanometers through orange, yellow, green, blue, and finally violet with a wavelength of 380 nanometers. One of the main source of visible light is the sun. Other sources of visible light include stars, planets, and moons. It can be auroras, meteors, volcanoes, lightning, fire, and bioluminescent organisms such as fireflies, certain jellyfish, fish, and even certain microbes. So as, as you can see, this is the surface of the sun. So we have different temperature according to the layer of the sun. The hottest is the sun's corona, which has a 1 million degrees Celsius. Secondly, is the upper chromosphere with 10,000 degrees Celsius, which is the surface temperature of the sun. 4,000 degrees Celsius is the lower chromosphere, and 6,000 degrees Celsius is the photosphere. So, according to the color, we can indicate the temperature of the star, since sun is a star. So... As you can see in the picture, we have the first star, which is two mass, which is 770 degrees Celsius, color dark red, followed by Betelgeuse, which is red, which has a surface temperature of 6,000 degrees Celsius, our sun, and Rigel, which is the hottest, 36 degree, 36,000 degrees Celsius, which is color blue. So... Another illustration here is the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram that shows the, the temperature of the, of the star is dependent on its color. Now, another source of visible light is the artificial sources such as candles, oil lamps, gas lighting, and light bulbs. Today, a broad range of light bulbs and lamps exist from the early types of incandescent light bulbs to fluorescent lights to light-emitting diode or LED lights. More energy-efficient light bulbs are being made every year. Another source of visible light are lasers. Lasers a laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm, flexible alternative.